All right, so this time we're actually making our quail hen, which is what our guys called it. Oh, great. Now, now you're gonna have to, you know, go to our website and take a look at some of the outtakes or some of the T-tips to see how we actually, one, see, I can't see it without laughing, how we actually boned our, boned see, our it's quail. it's contagious, isn't it? That's <laughs> contagious. Or how we deboned our, our Take the bones hen. out. Take right? the bones out, because we actually started with a whole game hen. As you can see, we took the bones out, but you can also get, especially if you go to one of the higher end markets in your area, you know, once again, not to plug anyone, but to a Whole Foods or Wegmans, they still have butchers who can actually do this for you. And ask, tell them you want a semi-boneless game hen. Well, most of our bones are taken out. So if you say semi-boneless, they know exactly what well, bones you you're going to take out. Well, you have to tell the only bones that you want left are the okay. long leg bone okay. and the long Chicken. wing bone. Wing. There we go. Okay. See, so you got right. me laughing again. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> now, with the quail, same thing. You can also get semi-boneless quail. All we did was took those apart, actually bone the legs. Now we're going to season everything. We're going to let this sit here for a while. Because the first part of this dish is actually making the stuffing. So first we have our onions ready to go. Oh, they can hear the shh. Good sizzle. Good little sizzle. sizzle. And we're gonna add our celery to it and our mushrooms. Okay. So what we're about to make for the inside of this is a mushroom stuffing. Okay. Here you're gonna see a little dry time, but we're, that's coming at the end. And guess what we have? That's why shameless plug. A salt little, and pepper. A little salt and pepper we got here. And we're just gonna add a pinch. We might not need much. Meanwhile, we're going to let that work and work and work until our mushrooms get nicely caramelized. Now, while that's working, we're now, do we, need, do we need to keep an eye on this to stir it up at all? Or oh, just yeah, we're going to stir it, it up. But okay. for right now, we want right. to get a little caramelization. And by caramelization, it means we want to get it browning a little bit. So okay. while this is working over here, and notice in our, in, our, in our professional world, we like using our little saucing spoons. It's my spoon. Okay. So We call those big soup spoons. It's called big soup spoons. <laughs> I like getting it going there. A little tap tap. Okay. And then meanwhile, while our stuffing is working, we're actually going to brown our pieces of quail. Okay. And you'll start to figure out why do we have to brown the quail, even though this is going to be a dish that we're actually stuffing. Well, you'll see why. Okay. So get our saute pan, nonstick, nice and hot. And we don't need it to be nice and hot. We'll just let that come up gradually. Okay. And we so put, you put it, it on there. You don't heat down. the skillet then, right? Well, not heat the skillet, no. Just so as soon as you turn it, it on, put it in there. And okay. else we're putting it skin side down because that's the part that we want to get nice and crunchy. And then once it gets brown, we're going to take it out. And you'll see why when we put it all together. Okay. See how many steps are in hours once again? This is not for the faint of heart. This is not for the beginning chef, not for the beginning cook. However, if you've got a little bit of skill, trust me, you're going to make some folks. So you see our game hen, I mean our quail, little quail piece, yeah. our two quail breasts, our bone quail legs. Okay. We're just going to get a little color in it. Meanwhile, we're coming back over here to our stuffing. Oh, look. That's starting to caramelize. Yes, yeah. it is. See, in the professional world, we have more BTUs. Just like Tim Howard said. A little horsepower. A little horsepower. See, now we're going to finish off our stuffing. We have our nice little croutons here. I would have had some more. Now, recipe can just be dry bread or croutons. It can be box stuffing. It doesn't matter. I had these here because we were eating cheese earlier. <laughs> and so we're going to try and crumble some of them up in here. Once again, we're thinking about the holiday season. You just use some old, to you old can toast bread, it or use toasted. old bread or whatever. You right? can use bread that's been in the back of your refrigerator for forever. As long as it's not green. No. Well, you know, that's for a different dish. Right. <laughs> now, meanwhile, we're now going to take our little slightly brown quail out. Here. So you only do the skin side? Just the skin side. Oh, okay. Just wanted to get some color on them. And now I don't need to block them. Did you see? Oops. Mm. So Matt, it's just amazing what salt and pepper will do. And we can actually finish it right here. Now to our little stuffing mix. Just make it a little... What is, what is that? That is actually our chicken stock there. Oh, okay. So we're just going to add our chicken stock. I'm going to put it back on the stove. Since I'm using dry bread, I actually need it to rehydrate a little bit. Okay. If you were using moisture bread, you wouldn't need as much. Need as much. All right. So we're just so going to put that on. You got to eyeball that and see how. Just see kind how of goes. eyeball it. Just kind okay. of eyeball it. Now, also too, in a professional kitchen, we always make certain that we're nice and clean and our mise en place. We keep our mess in place. <laughs> Now, I've seen your professional kitchen. You're throwing stuff all around. So that's because I have that all the time. I, I have you millions. You do this here at school when exactly. you're trying to exactly. sell again. <laughs> you, you had to bust me. Yeah. You had to bust me like that. There we go. Okay. All right. So once it starts coming up, coming apart. Yeah, once it starts um, coming apart, and the bread starts the to get getting smushy. all soft and moist. Yes. Can you see it? Moist. Nice I like that word. Moist and <laughs> smushy. And underneath the table here, here right? I have some elves. <laughs> Everything disappeared. We're just going to mix in. So 
so what is it? The egg is just going to act as a it's binder? It's going to act as a binder. Right. Now, we're going to let that sit there a little bit. We took our game in, seasoned the top with mm -hmm. salt and pepper. We're going to open it up. Now, on the inside, okay. yeah, you're going to put uh, a little okay. bit of our stuffing. Uh, I see. Now, if someone wanted to cut a few corners, uh -huh. um, they could just use regular stuff. You can add use, some, yes, you can. You don't have to use mushrooms. In several versions of this I do, I'll actually use chicken livers and chop it in. Whatever oh. stuffing you have, it doesn't okay. matter. If you're more partial to a cranberry stuffing, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. It's how just kind of whatever works. flavors you want. Whatever flavors. Put it in there with some. So now look, okay. we're taking our quail, uh -huh. the side that we sear it, it's going down. Okay. Why? So that when this comes out and you actually cut into it, it doesn't look pink, but you actually see the defined color uh, of brown. Okay. Then we okay. come back with our little quail legs. We come back with a little so more to stuff. Me, that doesn't look like a lot, but it's going to add a lot of flavor. Oh, to it, right? it's going to add a lot. Okay. To it. Okay. And just a little bit more stuffing. We don't need much more. And so now really, here comes the yeah, fun you part. you really don't. I was thinking you'd, we'd put all that stuffing in no, there. No, no. Stuff it in the there. The amount of stuffing that's there is actually, you know, of course, I'm just eyeballing. But once you look at the recipe, that's amount, that amount of stuff is enough for four. To really? Four okay. All right. Now here goes the fun part. Now we're about to roll it up. And this is where some of the advanced culinary skills need to come in. So first things first. Right now, kind of looks like a regular game hit, right? Yeah, yeah. But how are we going to hold this together? Uh-oh. Well, a lot of folks twine. have seen our twine, but yeah. it's not just twine. We actually have to truss the bird. Not you trust. Do it all fancy. All fancy schmancy. Okay. Now, of course, let's hope that we can, we can get this perfect the first time <laughs> See around. See how you do it. There's a lot of different ways of trussing, but this way is designed actually to hold this together. Okay. So we're starting with the wing. And we come across. To our legs, I'm going to wrap them around each one. Okay. And this okay, is a specific the one. And then come through, okay. Exactly. Because I actually want to hold that stuffing in. And then I've got to come back around the body the of the sides. bird. Okay. See it? To make it look. Because yeah. don't forget, there are no bones in here. Yeah. So we've got to kind of reshape it's, it. It's okay. kind of like tying jello together. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> That's what it kind of means, all jiggling like that. You know, how, how do I get these okay. techniques? I used to watch a lot of MASH, Hawkeye, you know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I wanted to be a surgeon once upon a time. So now, just cut off our excess string. Now inside of our pan here, where we had all of our bones from boning, the quail, all from the boning the game stuff. in. Okay. See, you call it the leftover stuff, I call it leftover flavor. What? So we're actually putting all that in our pan. We're going to take our game hand. Look, I just scooped it up so all the good stuff didn't run out the bottom. So the just for people at home, uh -huh. the carrots in here that you see, that's not that's not sliced up carrots. That's the the that's peelings, the peelings. Exactly the from the best we just shaved off because and threw in there. Exactly. All we're going to do is pour a little bit of our oil on the top. Just adjust a little bit more salt and pepper. Notice how high we go. Go in our 350 degree oven. And then thanks to the modern miracle what do you want to call it? A lot of prep work. A lot of prep work, yeah. advanced prep work. <laughs> we actually have one done for you already. When it comes out, this is what our quail hand looks like.